silver drops during the early hours on Monday. This is Chris from FX Empire. I'm taking a look at the silver market and it is obviously very negative early during the trading session on Monday, but let's be honest, there isn't a whole lot going on to push the markets around one way or the other. So with that being said, it is very likely to continue to stay in the same range that we have been in with the $22 level underneath being a significant support level and the $23.50 level above being a significant resistance barrier. With that being the case, I think you've got a market that will continue to go back and forth and bounce around in this general vicinity. But I think that as we are so close to the middle of this range, there isn't much to do. Once we get down to the $22 level, I would very much be interested in trying to get long in the silver market due to the fact that $22 has been tested multiple times in the past and it has almost always shown itself to be important. If we were to break down below $22, then the next major area is $21. Above, if we can clear the $23.50 level, then it opens up a move to the $24.50 level and possibly even $26. That being said, silver continues to be very noisy and that does make a certain amount of sense as people are not overly convinced on what's going on with the US dollar or interest rates. So that is obviously something that you need to pay close attention to. Industrial demand is a bit up in the air as well. So I think you'll just continue to see short-term range-bound trading, taking advantage of little bits and pieces of value if and when they appear on these sudden pullbacks.